Hi everyone, I wanted to share some more masculine slash androgynous cottagecore outfits. I know not everyone in the cottagecore community is more feminine in their clothing style, so I wanted to share some different clothing options so that everyone is able to find something they enjoy and feels included. A lot of these outfits that I put together, I took inspiration from Frog and Toad, which is just to me the most essential like cottagecore icons. So I really hope you enjoy these. With this first outfit, I've taken a button-up kind of polo sweater that I have and some paper bag shorts. This is with the tie that already comes with them. I love it with this belt as well instead of the tie if you're looking for more of a classic look. This is my like summer selection, like what I would do. It's just very cute. My second outfit suggestion would be like any pair of overalls with a short sleeve button up. This is how I would style it, but there are plenty of different styles for the short sleeve button up that can really give it a different vibe based on what you're going for. This is just very versatile. You can dress it up or down based on like what kind of button up you choose. I'm going for more of like, this is like an everyday outfit, but you can choose something a little more sturdy material for if you're out and about doing like exercising or maybe like gardening, something like that. It's just a great option for people who are looking for something a little androgynous that really fits that cottagecore vibe. So this outfit you've definitely seen me wear before on the channel, but usually I have this shirt tucked in. I definitely think that skirts are for everyone. Normally if I'm styling it for more of a feminine look, I will tuck this in because I prefer that kind of silhouette. But I think that for people who are looking for more of an androgynous fit, that having it untucked definitely gives it that kind of vibe. This fourth outfit, I was more channeling a park ranger sort of vibe. This is great to avoid like getting sunburnt or anything like that. If you prefer to do the bandana in your hair, like totally go for it. Do whatever makes you feel comfortable with an outfit. I think that this oat colored shirt, like the very natural colors and tones is a great combo to do any time you can do like browns and greens and all those that looks great so i've also got this <laughs> hat that i like as well i haven't worn it yet because i've been trying to figure out how to style it for myself but i think this is definitely a cute piece to add if you're not a fan of a straw hat this is definitely the kind of hat to go for I wasn't kidding when I said overalls are truly for everyone. They are the most universal like clothing bottom you can wear with any outfit. The one way if you're worried about looking a little too country and less cottage core with a blue jeans overalls and a flannel shirt, it definitely is important what shade of flannel, like what the pattern and colors are that you pick. I think if you're going for more of a blue and white, like greens or like unusual patterns like the one I have that's a floral, those definitely give you more cottage core. while like red, white, and blue or red in general can give it more of a country vibe. But it's really up to you and what kind of colors you prefer for your flannel. Something this as well is another way to style overalls. I have these corduroy overalls in a more like earthy color and I liked this oversized sweater on top because it is really great for layering when the weather is more unpredictable. And this like very warm earthy tones is just complete cottage core like, fall vibes to me. But of course without, it is also just very cute. I have this just plain off-white shirt and it has some like cute herbs and stuff on it as well. You can also do like a more patterned shirt instead of just a plain thing underneath. It might not be as visible, but it is great to have like a little something, add some interest. This outfit as well goes really great with the hat. So this is my last outfit and it's to give you more of a dressed up option for if you want to do some cottagecore vibes, but you still want to be a little more dressy, like no overalls, that sort of thing. So I have these great orange and brown plaid pants and I've paired it with a magical herb 
t-shirt, but you can also pair it with more of a plain shirt if you really want to do something a little more dressy. This is how I would style like the slightly more dressed up cottagecore masculine slash androgynous outfit. I really hope that these suggestions are helpful for you to find your own style and just give you some inspiration for how to put outfits together. Please let me know if you're interested in seeing a part two with some more outfit ideas. I'm always willing to put together an outfits video. I love fashion and I love helping people dress in ways that make them happy. So thank you so much for watching.